What's going on there guys? I'm back with another one man and I had to come back with this news. LeBron James has made it known the status of his relationship with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar which we've long speculated has they've, they've grown a little bit more distant over the years. I remember back in Cleveland you know LeBron was speaking glowingly about him coming to the city and everything like that. Blowing my face up. Uh, drastically just to uh, just to embrace um, a legend being in our building watching us play you know, what he did for the, for the game uh, the championship runs that he had uh, with the Showtime Lakers and um, you know him being an all-time lead scorer and he being history and so on and so on and so on so uh, it, it's just just respect when you see a guy like that um, and you put him in the class with like you know, you know Jim Brown and, you know Muhammad Ali um but as you know, you know, LeBron is on pace to pass Kareem's long-standing uh, NBA scoring record. And a lot of fans, well, there's two different sides to it. A lot of fans see it as some of the comments about Kareem recently towards LeBron is kind of sour grapes because he's approaching his record. You know, he, he's gonna, gonna pass him or whatever. And, uh... Just, just for a little bit of a refresher, LeBron went on his Instagram account and he posted like the Spider-Man meme saying the cold, uh, the common cold, COVID-19 and the flu had them pointing at each other like the Spider-Man is pretty much saying they're the same thing. Kareem has something to say about that. And then... Um, I think it was like the first game of the season or something like that last year. LeBron made a three-point shot and then he did the Sam Cassell, you know, I got big, you know what, you know, dance. And Kareem responded to that saying, why do you need to do a stupid childish dance and disrespect the other team? It doesn't make sense. And this, I think this word right here is what caused the divide he said goats don't dance now kareem went on to apologize after that but um i think the damage was already done at that point i'm gonna show y'all some videos kind of highlighting the history between lebron and kareem as far as their relationship or you know where, where it went south and I'll come back and give you my take on what he said recently. He was very blunt, short. I'm gonna tell you um, why this why this may be unfortunate for the game in, in some regards. Check it out. You know, you know, obviously Kareem has had his differences, you know, with some of my views and some of my some of the things that I do. But listen, at the end of the day, to be able to be uh, in the same, you know, you know. Breath as a, as a guy that wore the same uniform, a guy that uh, was a staple of this uh, franchise along with Magic and, and big game over there for so many years, especially in the 80s. Um, and a guy that does a lot off the floor as well. I think it's just super duper dope um, for myself to be even in that conversation. Anytime my name is you know, mentioned with the greats, you know, it was, you know obviously you know, Will, or MJ, or now Kareem, or whatever the case may be. Just super humbling. Um, guys always see me use my hashtag, the kid from Akron, and that, those are the moments where I really think about that kid from Akron. LeBron, with you having a chance to get the all-time scoring record this year, do you have any thoughts on Kareem, and also if you have a relationship with him? No, no thoughts. No relationship. Yeah, man, so there you heard it from LeBron, um, straight from the horse's mouth. No thoughts, no relationship with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and... Um, you know, you have one side that looks at it like LeBron, he he does speak out, but sometimes he may speak too soon, like the situation where um, the cop shot the young lady because she went to the other girl's house and she was trying to stab her. And that's when the cop shot. He had to delete his post. So sometimes people think he speaks before he gets before he gathers enough information or details about a specific situation to make a. Uh, a statement with all the facts gathered but um 
like I said before, you know, some people feel like that Kareem, the closer we've LeBron has gotten to this record, the more people have, you know, the more the more Kareem has has taken shots here or there. And I think that's what LeBron feels. And I think that's why we're hearing what we're hearing now. Now, the, the thing where I said it may be kind of bad for the game, you know, you, you think about when Steph Curry breaks Ray Allen's record. You know, Ray Allen's there at the game to congratulate him, to to give him his flowers. And, you know, it's kind of not only a celebration for the person that's breaking the record, but it's also acknowledging the person that held the record for so long, too, with the way LeBron and Kareem is going, is he going to actually be there to congratulate LeBron? Um, will he be there to present him with the basketball or whatever the trophy or whatever it's going to be for him to pass that record? Because you'd have to imagine LeBron will get some sort of reward um, for that one of a kind accomplishment. And with him and Kareem being at odds is just kind of like, uh, you know, kind of cringe because you would like to see that torch pass, especially from those players. I mean, on a lot of people's list, that's two of the top three players of all time, you know, um, or at least at the very least, two of the top five players of all time to ever touch the basketball court. And, you know, it, it'll be hard to imagine Kareem not being there because LeBron is a Laker right now. So that's like a double, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that that part right there I'm a little concerned about because you would like to see the game stopped and you'd like to see Kareem acknowledge, LeBron acknowledge, because that record's been standing for so long. We didn't think anybody would break it, but LeBron, here we are. He He's right there and... and He's so very close, but um, we we going to see, man. I feel like it's something they can talk about. Both of them do phenomenal things off of the floor uh, for the community. And LeBron even acknowledged that in, in that first portion of video that I played about what Kareem does off the floor. And Kareem has acknowledged that about LeBron, too. So I think um, sometimes... When you're making statements over the internet like that, um, you could easily call the person, or you could you could talk about it face to face. Because sometimes when you send those things out on the internet, people are on defensive because you you put it out in front of the world. So it, they will receive it better if you sat down and talked to a man to man face to face. Um, but Kareem's from the old school where he's not really like he's not gonna kiss nobody but or nothing like that. If he feels if he if he feels something, he's gonna say what he feels, and he's not gonna check with you to see if you like what he says. It's not a knock. It's not a bad thing. It's just how things were. You know, guys would criticize guys back in the day, and it would be what it was. Um, so I, I think. I don't even know if the issue between them is that serious where it can't be fixed. And I would like to see it fixed before LeBron breaks this record. Because it would be just nice, man, to see them up there. Um, two of the greats just up there being celebrated on that night, man. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is LeBron tripping or is LeBron well within his rights to feel the way he feel? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.